Paper Life here, www.paperlife.com. Um, I'm going to give you a little hint on Paper Life real quick before we start this one. This is a paper girl, and you're going to find out what a paper girl is real soon, but that's just a little tease. This is Miss Kim Garner, and she is here at the Melissa Francis booth, and she's going to give us a tour of all the new stuff. Yeah. So take it away. our home for the holidays. got to see this tree, you guys. This, this tree is just, uh, with these wonderful little scalloped tags, the craft tags oh. that we have. Really um, fun to make ornaments and decor. We have these scalloped ones that are out now, and we have some new ones that I'll show you in just a minute. We've also decorated these with our German glass glitter. Glitter glass is what we like to call it. It tarnishes over time, so it works great for all of your paper crafting product. And it's very chunky. It's not that, yeah, it has a lot of texture to it. Really, Cute. Really fun. Cute. Fun and then stuff. I have to show this. I just picked it up. That's so adorable yeah, on that, that little fun? stool. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. The that's silver fun. tinsel, which you can use for, for decorating. Totally and fun. And and also I love Melissa it. has the crepe paper, which you can mist. And Misting that is and wonderful. It takes a so lot, well. it's a lot thicker. It's a lot than what you get at the dime store. Right, store. right, right. right. Store. right. So it works really good for all of your all of your products. So let's just head, should we head on over? Yeah, to head, the, take us over and show us paper. The, the paper line. We did the vintage and the retro. So we have kind of a mixture of both and the chipboard and the retro and then we've got the chipboard, the fun chipboard um, snowflakes and ornaments that you can do with the glass, the glitter again. Okay, yeah. These and then cover these with the paper. We've got some great fun products that have used our new um, resin. Which resin. Is really which these popular. resins are cool. Yeah. So we've got the new resins which um, in the snowflakes and the Christmas and again we, we the snowflakes you can of course can use for anything and winter I guess winter yes, and not winter just Christmas holiday. yeah not yeah. yeah. just holiday but yeah. and our rub-ons are great we don't even um, you we don't even put a popsicle stick in there because they they you can do them with your fingernails you really them, yeah, I really didn't know nice. that. yeah really now nice tell and me, smooth um, you were talking like Copic markers can be used on this yes Yes, okay. Copic markers. So like I could detail out the little ornaments yes. and the packages yes. and stuff. I didn't yes. know that that worked on the resin. Okay. Yep. And she actually used a Copic marker on the front of this. Just a brown. Just to highlight yeah, it. Just to ah, highlight the resin okay. there. Another so, use for your the, Copic markers, this guys. This is the crepe paper there that's that's colored with the very mist. Very cute. Very cute. So that's, that's, a, that's a project that kind of shows those new... Resins, and you have a couple other resins I want to yes. show too, like these stars. I love. Yeah, the stars Perfect. were great for Americana, um, little boy. boys. Yep, and the birds, which of course have been super popular, and the frames, which and the frames for the photos. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and yep. something else I missed that I want to go back and show is those little candy canes. Oh, no, <laughs> Chanel. Grab that. They add a lot of good um, dimension to your product yes. projects. You can tie a little bit of bow, That's tie a little so bit of sweet. ribbon around there for a bow, and yeah, they work great. Very for all cute, sorts very of cute projects. So neat. And then show us real quick the recipe. Oh yes, we'll head yes. over there and, and look at the recipe that um, Melissa has actually already put out. Yes. It's all So ask for it at your local scrapbook store. I mean, how cute would this be, like, to take Grandma's recipes and do a book? and You know, because it looks very, yes. it's just so cute. Yep, it's very, um, we've got kind of the retro again, and then just like kind of the kitchen line that goes along the homemade, it's called. Neat. So this part was homemade. And yeah, just even pictures of, this is a great layout that great. Sherelle did. And her daughter, you know, they're canning the applesauce, and then it's got the apple pie filling um, recipe right on there, you know. With Great kids, idea. So. Great way to yeah. document. Yeah. Well, and here's, if you, uh, I'll flip through. you got a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6 yes. packet. Yep, of all the papers. Which is really um, cute. Looks like an old tablecloth. Yep. 
And this one's actually already sold out. They're getting this in with the Christmas. But okay. Yeah, just look for it soon. Soon. And then there's yeah, a whole kit that they can do at the kitchen oh, that she's yeah. got. It's a fun, fun kit. Album. And then actually recipe cards that fit right into your recipe. You can put those Any right box. in your recipe box. Box. fits. So okay. we can even put holes in those. You can add those to your mini book. Even, I mean, I've used it just for a mini book for photos. You know, exactly. Photos for my, for my grandma's recipes right, right. and that. But also just for your regular everyday recipes. Okay, one other thing I want you to show. This little envelope album oh, that you just showed me. She like yes. sprung it on me and I'm like, this is adorable. Yes, this is our kitchen. and This is our envelope album. It's made out of craft. So it's a bunch paper, of envelope, craft just envelopes. A bunch of craft Cute. envelopes. Look. All embellished up really, really nice with the um, all of the chipboard that goes along with our line there. And of course they've used the pattern paper. And this is actually, this is this was designed by Melissa Francis. So you could use this for your coupons, coupon book. You could also just use it as a photo album, add, a, add photos, mm -hmm. and then maybe you're journaling inside these little envelopes. This makes a great it's little me paper crafting project. There. And it's not so. just for this line. I mean, it, it comes plain, right? Yeah, it does it's come just plain. A, a, yep. a, a, uh, it's just plain and you can, that you is can mess fun. it up as much fun. as you want. Fun. So I love the craft. The craft is yes. what makes that, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's really popular right now. So, yeah. Well, this is Miss Kim Garner. She's a really good friend of mine, you guys. you got to be nice to her. Um, and we're at Melissa Francis. And tell your local scrapbook store to get this in if you love what you see. We'll see you in the next booth. Bye, everybody.